Hello, today I'm going to be demoing two pedals on the right. This is a clone of the Keeley compressor. I'm not going to go into depth on this, um, except that it's a really great compressor. I match the transistors within 1%, use tantalum caps for the electrolytics, which are things that Keeley does that really make his compressor stand out and why a lot of people can't clone it properly. Um, they're key doing these things is key, but I also used a NOS CA3080 op amp, a metal can style. Um, Keeley used to use those, but he doesn't anymore because they're a lot more expensive, but I think it really just gives it that extra edge of sparkle and transparency that the newer versions don't have. Um, on the left is a spring reverb pedal that uses the belt and brick module. It's uh, similar to the Lee Jackson, Mr. Springy, or the Maleco Spring Chicken, and other Super Boutique Spring Reverb pedals. It sounds awesome. It has a slight modulation of the decay, which I think sounds amazing. Um, I have controls for reverb level. I have a dwell control, which controls how long it decays. The reverb trails decay, and there is a high cut tone control on it, uh, so you can dial out the highs so you get a softer, more subtle reverb. Uh, for the compression, I just have a medium compression set right now. And uh, I'm using a Mexican Fender strap with D. Allen pickups into a one watt Black Star HT1 amp. This is, uh, here is the clean tone. You can hear that sustain right away. I don't know if it'll come through, but what I like about compressors is the way they make each individual string and a chord ring out more evenly volumed, so you can get more harmonics that feel like. compression setting and I have all of my high end retained. It doesn't start really affecting the perceived highs until you really get uh, a super squeezed compression. Um, this thing is awesome. So here's the reverb. Set it for a light reverb right now. turn up the level. I've got the tone control all the way maxed, which cuts highs to the max. So, and the dwell is all the way down right now. Turn down the tone control and add some more highs in.
start hearing the tone control when I turn up the dwell here. Yeah, but the dwell at halfway now. control all the way down in the dwell up you can actually get oscillation in the dwell up
modulation really well on chords. It's kind of a slap back at higher settings too, you get a nice slap back delay. Mm -hmm. 